Hey, in this tutorial I will show you how you can create from C++ interface method for blueprints, how to create events, and how to get information from the blueprints to C++ with this communication like get, and how to return more values than one. Like we can split it and have much more values. I made one C++ class, its interface, and it will be in the description. Uh, here I added three methods. Uh, first one is get skeleton mesh, and that method means that we will return only skeleton mesh, and that's all. This method have here realization, but it's pretty small and null pointer. For now it's fine. But when we overwrite it and when we will pass something, when we will add the skeleton mesh here, for example, we can drop, drag, and just connect here. And then from C, we will get this reference. And it's a great way to communicate. And it also works with the blueprints. Um, from with another uh, blueprint type, we have when we can return more values and here it's like little limitation in real we cannot with the ampersand uh, we cannot with this ampersand return more values i don't know why but i didn't find anything but we have a solution that we can use the struct uh, custom struct uh, for blueprints with the blueprint type and with the constructor inside and here we can set the default values. For now it's for test integer and f vector. And inside the blueprints, I added my C++ class for sure here because it's interface. And this struct, we can check how it works. We can add the struct, connect, or we can just split and set the different values wherever we want and it will work when you will call it and also uh, you can you can find all my methods because it has a category and you can also send for someone for example self we can add it and that means that we will send this interface for something and we will get a result from it when we will have uh, the return values inside this because we need to pass also something and the second one it's the last one <laughs> and it's just default interface event and this event we can we can send something like default events and it works in event graph uh, it should work with the void and you can add much more parameters here by the comma. And inside here, I can I cannot add anything because it's void uh, to return, but it will work. And inside the C++, we can just see this event and work with it. It's like default. And now I want to explain limitation of it because it's tutorial from C++ to blueprints. As I said, that I cannot uh, return more than one value in the classic way uh, when you can add uh, more parameters with the comma and it will not work with error, but you can create your custom like here, struct, add your needed variables and just use it like a parameter like here. It's my custom struct. And we are using this struct to return more values. And it's limitation number one. And second one, when you have, for example, C++ class, if you will create a blueprint type of it, uh, for example, I will save it in the content, for example. Uh, okay. Then I have a new uh, C++ interface but overrided in the blueprints and the, that overrided in the blueprints version will not work i mean 
you you cannot assign this to the interface like it will not find it at all and there's something strange honestly because it will be a, like a great way to have c++ methods and some blueprints also you can add it because it's more easily but uh, i think much better to create interfaces in the c++ and it will work in your code in the c++ and in the alt blueprints also and yeah that's it hope you like this video and i like when you press likes and it motivates me to create something new for coding or blueprints but i'm trying to make something with the more rare to find in google because it's i think important uh, the default interfaces for example in c++ or blueprints you can find a lot of tutorials but it's more i think rare tutorial and with more info and thank you guys bye